Howdy folks, for my next DIY project, we have one of the K-Mize Liar Kits. You can buy these on Amazon. They're 26 bucks on Amazon. And uh, this represents the first time that I've built a liar, the first time I've built anything in the harp family, the first time I've built an instrument with zither pins for tuners, and it'll probably be the last time I build an instrument with zither pins. I do not like them. Um, also, the first time I've ever tried to paint a sunburst, and uh, more about that in a minute, but it actually came out pretty nice. So um, anyway, I placed this order. I decided, hey, what the heck, I'll try one of these because they're $26. And I, I didn't have high hopes just because the price was so low. And quite honestly, the quality is not that great. When you get it, you get the, the, the liar comes basically assembled but unfinished, and then you get the strings, the uh, saddle piece here, and the zither pins. And that's pretty much all that's in the box. Now, the finishing was shabby as heck. Um, along this back edge here um, on the back, uh, there was some huge gaps over here. I mean, I'm talking like a 16th of an inch gap. And as I lifted up on it, I could see that the back was barely attached. I mean, there was just a couple places where the glue um, was even sticking. So I ended up, I took like, you know, I took my time, I used a heat gun and heated it up and used a wire and got it in there. And I had to use a little like coping saw at a couple spots, but I got the back completely off. So I was able to separate the back. And um, then I had access to the inside. And um, what I realized after I took the back off, it wasn't that the back was necessarily shoddily glued. It was that this piece, this center piece, if, I don't know if you can see this, but there's like a, a soundboard and then a back and then there's a center piece. And that center piece on the, the side here, on this side, on the soundboard side, it's nice and flat and it lined up pretty well. On this side is not flat at all. I mean, it was like wavy as heck, which is why it didn't get a lot of good glue spots. So what I did is I went back, I wood fillered in there as best I could, smoothed it out as best I could, and then now it actually doesn't look too bad. Um, I'm not sure how well that's gonna show up on the video, but it doesn't look too bad after I put it back together. The other thing that that allowed me to do while I had it apart was I routed out the sound cavity in there a little bit so I could fit in a potentiometer and a jack so I could make this baby electric. And then I glued, hot glued a um, 40, I think it's a 40 millimeter PSO pickup right here basically right on the soundboard here. And voila, we have an electric liar. So um, that actually was kind of a neat little twist of fate. Um, how, you know, sometimes shoddy building, you know, leads to something new when you start experimenting. So I, I did that and I'm actually pretty pleased with the way that that came out. The strings that are on it, I'm not sure how well that's gonna show up, but they appear to be just acoustic guitar strings. It does have seven strings and it's tuned D, E, G, A, B, D, E. So basically it can be a major scale or a minor scale. It's that kind of magical pentatonic thing where you can do whatever you want with it. That's a little bit out of tune now. As it sits, it goes out of tune. Um, that's another thing about these other pins, especially when the, um, when the strings are new. Uh, the kit also comes with this little wrench over here that you use to tune it. And boy, is it a pain. If this wrench was a lot longer um, it might be a little easier because you'd have a little more leverage, but it's really hard to tune, let me tell you. So like I said, I don't know that I'm gonna be keen on building another instrument with zither pins soon. Um, that said, when I started finishing this, so I sanded it all out, I put my wood filler in there, all that, and I got it back together. I was like, I need to finish this, so I stained it, and I thought, you know what would be really cool to do a sunburst on this? And uh, I'd never painted a sunburst before, so I did a little research, and it turns out what you use is not paint, you use toner that actually that's what it still allows the transparency. I know you can see like that knot in the wood and I'm not sure how well it'll show up, but you can see the grain through here, you know, throughout and certainly over here on some of the side pieces, you can really see the grain and stuff. Um, so it's actually a transparent toner. And then what you do is you just basically put that around the edge and so you, when you spray it, you can freehand it and just kind of hit the edge or you can make a little mask, which is what I ended up doing where you just make like a little mask out of cardboard and then you put a couple nails through it to raise it up off you know, an inch or whatever you're looking for off the body. And then that kind of gives you that natural overspray. And uh, that's what I did on both sides and it actually ended up looking pretty nice all the way around. You can see even in the middle, I kind of did that burst. So um, it actually ended up looking pretty nice. I'm pretty pleased with it for my first attempt at a sunburst. 
Uh, so overall, I mean, it came out pretty neat. It's actually kind of a neat little instrument. It's not the highest of quality. If you're looking at this kit, if you're looking for something high quality that doesn't have any dings or scratches, you're gonna be disappointed. But if you're just looking for something to build for fun on a weekend or whatever, it's actually a pretty fun little job. So um, again, I added the electronics to make this into a um, electric lyre, but uh, you wouldn't have to. You could certainly keep it acoustic. It's got decent acoustic volume. It's certainly a lot uh, better when you plug it into the um, to an amp. But to play us out here, what I'm gonna do is I am going to take this baby and I'm gonna plug it into my Boss RV6 Reverb in shimmer mode. And then I'm gonna plug it into my cigar box amp. And that's how I'm gonna play us out because I tried that earlier and it sounds pretty cool. So here we go, here's a little sound clip. <laughs> 